you let me straight to the fall. I'm broken. I'm so trying, skin and bone. Welcome back, everybody. Today we are talking about the drama between Jack Spect the guy and Mr. Beast. Not really because I care, but because the movie I reacted to was gonna take longer to edit. Like I'm not even using my regular microphone just because my computer's gonna be occupied. So hopefully this doesn't sound like shit. But let's explain what happened for those of you who don't know, even though it's a few days old at this point. Basically a video of Jack Spect the guy being put on a lie detector test, made rounds on X, Twitter, whatever you want to fucking call it. Would you say YouTube's changed for the worse? Yes. Now Jack, look, Wait, it's very far I just know. <laughs> now Jack, a completely unrelated question. <laughs> Do you like Mr. Beast? No. Oh, Jack. Oh. Do you think Mr. Beast ruined YouTube? Yes. Now, in all honesty, Jack, why? Because it became more about views, money, and popularity than it did about having fun. You just don't think you had fun playing Squid Games? You don't think you had fun riding on yachts? If he Building had, wells in Africa? I don't know. If he had fun doing those videos, they'd be longer. We'd see the fun. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I thought you were going to get me yeah. that one, didn't you? Which, of course, got a lot of controversy because, of course, all you're insulting another YouTuber. But of course, he's saying that Mr. Beast is doing it for views and money, not really for the good children nature that he claims he does it for and that he ruined YouTube. Which, in my opinion, no, I don't think he ruined YouTube, though he did change YouTube a lot. Some things good, some things not. It really depends on your opinion of it. He does seem like a kind of nice guy, but I can see what Jack is trying to say, I wish he had longer to establish this opinion. But before we get into Mr. Beast's response, there's a few things no one's actually even talking about with this video. First of all, Jack didn't post this to his channel. I don't think he posted it to Twitter. It wasn't like he was out there purposely making this statement. He was asked. I do think this got eventually cut from the video, but it was his friend's video, who clearly knew that what Jack was gonna say Knew he would stole the part a bit. I don't think he knew it would stole it this much. But clearly it caused some controversies. But I do think that's a little bit of a defense that everyone needs to remember. That he didn't just go out there to insult him on purpose. He was asked on a lie detector test. But he was very blunt with the answers anyway. So it's not like he actually gave a fuck to, you know, go around his opinion a bit. But I can definitely see why Mr. Beast wouldn't like that. You know, obvious reasons. So Mr. Beast tweeted out this, which he eventually deleted the tweet, by the way. So I ruined YouTube because I didn't buy a mansion and sports cars and instead reinvested my money into making content so that's focused on doing good and inspiring kids to help people, which is really not a knock on Jack because I don't think Jack owns a mansion either. More of like the Logan Paul type of YouTubers. And yeah, no, he does do a lot of good things. But he also inspired a lot of people to do fake charitable things that just ends up harassing homeless people. Which is again what I was trying to say earlier. That he did do good things, he did not do good things. It really depends on your perspective on it. None of us know him personally and know if Mr. Beast is truly doing this for his own good. And because he wants to. I think in my personal opinion, I think it's somewhere in the middle where... He did do some good things and he likes doing these good things, but he also does do it a little bit for the fame or he at least has to because, you know, making money, which he can then reinvest, as he said. So I can kind of see a little bit here and there for that point. Again, it's really hard to judge someone you don't know, so it's I can't really say much on it. I just, I would hope he's doing it for at least some good in his heart. If he had more fun, the videos would be longer. What does that even mean? You think I'd give up every hour of my life for 14 years if I didn't have fun? Which again, I do think he has fun, but what Jack was trying to say is that his videos are optimized to YouTube's view count standard that helps push them out and make them get more views. It's better for his watch time, which then get the videos pushed out even more. And again, I kind of see the point. If he had more fun, like there's some videos I 
post and make and I'm like, the video is dragging on a little bit, but I'm having fun with this clip. And I want to keep it in because I do enjoy it personally. But I just like, why can't he post a second video that shows more of like the behind the scenes of one having fun? Though again, yeah, you don't need to show that you have fun to have fun in your videos. So again, as I am with most of these points, it really is depending on your perspective. I do think both is making valid points though. But of course, they're big YouTubers, so everyone blew this out of proportion and they kind of both took it very seriously, Jack. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna say that. You think I wasn't going to? And Mr. Beast in return with this next part. This clip is insanely disrespectful in my opinion, and obviously there is so much I could say about his content, but I'll take the punches and be the bigger man, Sigh. Which, that's... Listen, I don't care if you're the biggest Mr. Beast fan. I don't care if you fully agree with all of his opinions. That's just, just like, childish, uh, in my opinion. I get that like, the clip is disrespectful part, but that you really can't blame Jack for that. Blame his friends, blame who posted it. Again, I guess Jack could have asked it to be cut out, but seriously, it's, that, it's not fully on Jack. And obviously I could say so much, but if you're not going to say it, do you really have much to say? I do think he probably didn't want to say much because he would be insulting so many other YouTubers. And I don't think he wants that drama, but he's a big fan of PewDiePie. At least he says in his videos and does a lot with PewDiePie. If he doesn't like Jack's content, it's kind of similar in my opinion. Then the whole, I'll take the punches and be a bigger man, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna be the good guy here. But you're making the tweet anyway, so all you. Oh my god, the sigh. And I get it, like, yeah, he should defend himself. But listen, if you're gonna say you couldn't stop someone, but you're gonna be the bigger person, you're really not being the bigger person. I think, again, they both were disrespectful a little bit. They both had some valid points. I do think this kind of just more got blown out of proportion between the two. But the part that no one's talking about is this. They actually message each other on our good now. A lot of people want to ignore that with the drama because it's less fun. But I'm glad they made up. And again, I just wanted to talk about this just to get a video out of the way. I really don't care <laughs> very much. I mainly only think the points are decent though because I can interpret what's being said. But I would have liked them to describe more instead of just, you know, brief explanations. But again, one's tweeting it out, which you don't have much room. And the other person is just saying it as a clip. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Maybe there's something I'm missing here and I should be siding with one of these two. Probably not. Most importantly, have a good night. I'm done with hitting your wall Short notice, I just gotta let you know You let me straight to the fall I'm broken, I'm still trying skin and bones You love